We are on course in terms of, as you've seen, all the, the construction work going on at the airport. And uh, we're pushing and there's no indication in terms of the contractor about any delay. So we, we're happy, we've got the funding in place, we've got the contractor in place, we have the management team in place, and the project is going on. Not just here, in Kisumu, plus whatever else we are planning to do for, for all the other areas. So by next year, we should have finished uh, what we have embarked on. People coming to our airport can feel that they're in a comfortable place rather than they are struggling through as if they are in Biashara Street, uh, wading through shops. That does not give you the picture. With just the changes we made uh, by reconfiguring some of the areas and putting seats, we've received very positive uh, comments from our travelers. And we'll continue working on that. And also for the people having the shops at the airport, uh, nobody who is disorganized and who is feeling frustrated will feel like spending an extra penny at the airport. Yeah? They'll be feeling like, I want to get out of this airport today or in the next minute. But when people feel comfortable, they are lounging nicely, they want to rest, then they say, can I also spend some time at the shops? Right? We're due to get the aircraft by 2013. And then the construction that is going on at the airport should be done by then. That's all I see, that we need an assurance that it will be done by then. Training of pilots, while it used to be um, a state uh, responsibility, all countries worldwide now don't train pilots, so it's been left to the private sector to handle it. And I think initially um, it was left to individuals to fund themselves, and it's quite expensive. So we are seeing as airlines that uh, we need to go back ourselves and start funding. And that's how we worked out this mechanism of saying, look, how can we help people get funded and then we employ them and they repay the money. Because at the end of the day, the state can't really foot all the training. Well, there are three ways of, uh, of, of facing a fuel issue. One is hedging, if you are hedged, and uh, fortunately we're hedged up to the end of the year. And second is increasing prices. Uh, the, the second thing is increasing prices and we're reviewing our prices right throughout the whole network. The third way is making sure that you don't fly um, where you have very low uh, cabin factors. So we're looking at all the three things. I mean, there are areas where you, you, know, you can't go on increasing fares. You're at a certain limit. So we'll review route by route. Because right, at the end of the day, people want to fly. The guys who sell us oil also want money. So we've got to balance the two mm. things. And I want to make money. But so long as the aircrafts are full, I'll go. There will be chances that there will be no increase in fuel, in, in, in fares. Mm. So encourage people to fly. <laughs> <laughs> then they will save themselves fare increases. <laughs>